Hey everybody, it's JQ Crafty and welcome back to 30 Days of Sketches. This is day 10. We've made it 10 days in the month. That's amazing. <laughs> like I said, I decided I was going to try to do every day and so far we're doing good. So let's keep this train rolling. Going to continue back on with some um, pictures from my family vacation that I've been scrapping almost all the time and using some more one can into. But because it's this sketch, I really like that circle element. I didn't really want to bring in the doily, but I have this lovely cut file from my June Creative Cuts Club and all these other woodsy things um, in this little kit Christina sent me um, from the Creative Cuts Club. Club? <laughs> um, so I was going to try to use this. And what I might do... Oh my gosh, I can't. I just can't today. Um, I might just cut it down and make it a little smaller because right now it's it's to fit a 12 by 12 and I'm, I don't want it to span the whole paper. But because of how it is, I might be able to cut it down or we'll just place it on the page askew and it'll go off the page and that might look really cool too. So let's get started. So I'm going through and just trying to pick out a background paper really quick. I don't have a lot of 12 by 12s left. Um, getting down there, which is awesome. I wanted to use up this mountain paper, but I didn't because it's like we weren't really in the mountains. We were in the rolling hills of southern Minnesota. And it was the valley. So, that, I mean, there were big hills. Um, and I have, I have a 12 by 12 of this star paper as well, but I also have this other bigger chunk and I'm like, I don't have any like nighttime photos that I've done really. I guess I do have some sleepy photos I could have used it with, but I, I didn't. Um, so I'm trying to use up that as well, but it works really good for a mat. And so I mat my photos on that and I rip the bottom to give it a little interest. And then I'm going to use this green um, leaf paper, which now that I'm looking at it, it would be great for fussy cutting, but that's a lot of fussy cutting and I'm not doing that. <laughs> let's, let's be honest. Ugh. I'm trying to get this scrapbooked and I'm trying to get all these 30 days done and I'm not rushing myself or like being lazy, but it's like sometimes you just got to get stuff done and I'm, I'm having fun. Don't get me wrong. I just, no, if I don't really want to fussy cut stuff, I don't mind fussy cutting, but I'm kind of lazy and I'm like, if I don't have to or don't really want to, or if it's not, I'm not like, ooh, this would be cool. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> so I'm going to use the mountain as um, the tag element or the banner, I should say, in the very center. So I ink everything up actually with a blue, which I really like the way that looks. And then I'm going to ink up um, the, just the outside edge of all the parts of the cut file as well. I'm not going to do both sides. And I think it's fine. It's hard to ink up the entire cut file. So it works out. You kind of see blue smudged kind of all over it in little bits and pieces and places. But um, yeah. So I used, I believe it's Stormy Skies. Because it was the blue that kind of matched the, um, the paper I used for the photo mat the best. I just glued it all down. And I, yeah, I opted for going askew and I really like that. So it makes my circle element kind of expand the page a little bit more compared to the sketch, but it's there, right? All the pieces are there. And so I had these other, while I was um, looking through that uh, little Creative Cuts Club kit for June, I also saw that I have these tags in there. And so I'm like, I'm going to use these tags too, because sketch they have those butterfly elements I'm not going to put butterflies but these tags are perfect and there was some jute in there as well so I just kind of tied little knots at the ends of them is what I'm doing and layered them kind of in the similar places and then I'm going to use instead of some stitching I'm going to use some washi tape down there at the bottom and then I'll put some up at the top as well and then I'm just going to go through the sticker book um, and my sticker sheets and layer some stickers and just create some little clusters and now I don't really know what to do with stamp stickers because and I'm finding my one canoe two collections which I'm you guys I'm making a huge the biggest dent in this this stash I had of one canoe two and I can't even believe it 
<laughs> um, I'm going to have probably mostly just scraps and six by eight papers left over, which is awesome. But I go through and I'm going to create some clusters of those and I'm going to use the green alphas that came with one of them to put Uno or Cribbage because my son, every time people were playing Cribbage, it was like a big thing on this family vacation because um, I don't know if you remember me saying earlier or if you're even keeping track and it doesn't matter if you are or if you're not. <laughs> um, but at this family vacation, it rained. Like it rained almost the whole time. We had two really good days and even those days, it wasn't really good the whole time. It was like... Luckily, it was a really good weather, like, while we were doing our activities. So, um, so there was a lot of cribbage playing. There was a lot of ping pong playing. There was a lot of other things playing. Lots of games indoors. Um, but we, yeah, my, my siblings had cribbage tournaments while I entertained my child. But a few times he would sit up at the table and he'd pretend he was playing cribbage with them, but he was playing with his Uno cards. It was super cute. So that's basically what this is. And that photo of him... Um, on the left is looks there's a photo of his father the of his dad that looks just like that like ugh, they're clones <laughs> they are clones <laughs> um so yeah so I layered up um some element stickers I layered up some letters I layered up those um stamps because yeah I don't ever know what to do with them and I journal on the little tag right there just talking about cribbage and I know and that's it Check everybody else out down below. Thanks for watching again, you guys, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye.